Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jerry and in this video we're going to be covering notes that are two and four beats long, half notes and whole notes. Now if that means nothing to you and you didn't watch any of our previous videos, then you can always go to our channel and they're all listed there from lessons one to now. Before we get to our main lesson, I'm going to quickly review last week's homework. As always, if you have any questions at any point during the week, you can always go to our website from artoheart.ca and one of our teachers will get back to you as soon as possible, free of charge. I did forget to put a demo video in for Hot Cross Buns last week, so here it is. Just like in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the easiest way to learn this is to look for patterns. I want to draw out all of my staircases, like the one going down in the first line. In the second line, there's a long staircase going up, and then a short staircase coming down. In the third line, there's a long staircase moving down. Remember, staircases mean that a note moves to a note right beside it. Also just like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, this song has a lot of repetition. For example, the first line is the same three note pattern, played twice. The second and fourth lines are actually the exact same thing, just played with different hands. In the last video, we learned that music also has a heartbeat just like us. Notes that are one beat long are called quarter notes. For example, if this is my beat, then these are quarter notes. Each note equals one beat. Now, music would be really boring if all there were was quarter notes. For example, I'll play Canada's national anthem, and you'll hear that the notes are not all the same length. So, what happens when I have a note that's two beats long? We call this a half note. A half note looks kind of like a quarter note. This is a quarter note and this is a half note. See if you can spot the difference. Both of them have an oval with a stem, but the half note's oval isn't filled in. Since a quarter note is one beat long and a half note is two beats long, how many quarters equals a half note? Two quarters equals one half note. That means that a half note will take up the same amount of time and amount of beats as two quarter notes. For example, if this is my beat, then these are half notes. Each note equals two beats. These are quarters. Quarter, 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 half note, half note, quarter, quarter, half note. Get the idea? Now, what happens when I have a note that's four beats long? This is called a whole note. This is a quarter note, this is a half note, and now we have a whole note. Compare all of them. What do you see? When we go from quarter to half, we lose the black fill-in of the oval. And when we go from half to whole, we lose the stem. Or you can think of it as the other way around. When we go from whole to half, we add a stem. And when we go from half to quarter, we fill the oval in. If a quarter note is one beat long, a half note is two beats long, and a whole note is four beats long, then how many quarters equals a whole note and how many half notes equal a whole note? Four quarters equals a whole note and two half notes equal a whole note. For example, if this is my beat, then these are whole notes. Whole note, whole note. Whole note, 
Now, you may be wondering, why is it that we call a one beat long note a quarter note and a two beat long note a half note and so on? Now, imagine your mom orders pizza one day and then the pizza store cuts the pizza into four pieces. If you're super, super hungry and you eat the entire pizza, how much did you just eat? The whole pizza, right? Now, what if you decide to share with a friend and you both take two pieces out of the original four? You just ate half of the pizza, right? Now, what if your mom, dad, friend, and you are all eating and you each take one piece? Then you ate a quarter of the pizza. A quarter just means half of half. Now, going back to music, imagine that each piece of pizza equals one beat. In music, we usually group beats in groups of four. So if I play one beat, then I've played a quarter of the group of four beats and so on. If you got this example, then that's great. If you didn't, don't think too much about it and just focus on how long each note is. Now, let's practice. I'm going to use my metronome to set a beat and we're going to play quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes together. Play with me using middle C. We're going to start with quarters. One, two, ready, go. Quarter, 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 half notes, ready, go. Half note, half note. Half note, half note, half note, half note, quarters, ready, go. Quarter, 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 whole notes, ready, go. Whole notes, whole notes, whole notes, whole notes, and we're done. For homework, print out the review sheet and the song sheet, which are both linked in the description. There will be some exercises in the review sheet to help you get comfortable with half notes and whole notes. This video was brought to you by From Art to Heart, which is a youth-run nonprofit organization based in Alberta, Canada. We decided to make this series of videos in response to the current pandemic situation. I'd like to remind you that since we are a nonprofit, we offer free virtual lessons and coaching, as well as answering your questions free of charge. Just go to our website at fromarttoheart.ca slash virtual lessons, or you can send us an email at fromarttoheartsociety at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. If you know someone else who would find this video helpful, please share it with them. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to be reviewing and going over practicing tips.